Hello everybody, welcome to Saroj Digital Learning. Yes, we are back again with grammar questions. This is the last question paper. Now boys and girls, without wasting time, let's begin with the first question. And I am sure by now you must have all become very perfect in grammar. Because you know the same type of questions are being asked. Here you have to write two compound words of your own. Compound words are many, many, many. Dining table, door, mat, okay, then stray dog, street lights and so on. You have to make these compound words. Make a meaningful sentence of your own using the phrase to pick up speed. This is for you boys and girls, to pick up speed. Now that the exams are approaching, the children have to pick up speed and study hard. Spot the error and rewrite the correct sentence. I always thought that mathematics were an easy subject. Mathem, I hear the devil is sitting here. This is the culprit. It should be was. Fine? Now, find out two hidden words of minimum four letters from endurance. Children, you should be very good at it. Okay? Four letter words. So, you have R-A-C-E, four letter word, race. And dear, D W E R. You can find more. Now form a present participle and a past participle in which last letter is doubled. Present participle, digging, hopping, clapping, running, present participle. Past participle, where the last letter is doubled. What can you write? I'll give you one. Now you have to do the next one only to give you a hint. Written. W-R-I-T-T-E-N. Written. Find the next one. Because four question papers I have done for you. This here you have to find out. Now make sentence of your own using the word bore. Where you are coming for the first time? I am doing everything for you. Bore in two separate sentences. The word having different meanings. Homographs. One bore, W-O-R-E, means you have to dig a hole. Bore. So let's do that sentence. Bore a hole to fix the cable. Bore a hole to fix the cable. Then, next. The lecture was a total bore. I am sure my lecture is not a total bore. No, definitely not. The lecture was a total bore. Next. Change the voice of the following sentence beginning with that piece. I have heard that piece many times since that day. You have to change the voice. And you have to begin with that piece. Now, that Peace was heard by me many times since that day. Rewrite the following sentence using indirect speech. Don't go away so soon, his grandfather said. His grandfather requested or his grandfather asked him not to go away so soon. Instead of said, you can say requested or asked. Don't is converting into not to go away so soon. Done. Next question, let's pick out the model auxiliary and state its functions. Oh my God, model auxiliaries are so many. Can, could, will, would, must, might, should, shall. So many now. Let's see what are the model auxiliaries used here. Uh, we must use solar energy if we wish to conserve our resources. Children, this is a very good advice to you. We must use solar energy. Must is the model auxiliary. If we want to conserve our resources, use solar energy. Now make the following sentence complex. In complex sentence, immediately your brain should say in complex sentence, one will be main clause, one will be subordinate clause. So here we have, her eyes were shining brilliantly. 
but her face had lost its color. This is a compound sentence. To make it complex, we say, though her eyes were shining brilliantly, her face had lost its color. Clear? Oh my God. Now the next one that is textual passage. Let us see. What does the textual passage say? It is asking you to do as directed. The reader can read his work again and again and find new layers of meaning. That is why we say read, read, read. Because the more you read, the more depth you get. So, the reader can read his work again and again and find new layers of meaning. Begin the sentence with on reading. On reading again and again, the reader can find new layers of meaning. On reading his work, on reading his work again and again, the reader can find new layers of meaning. Am I clear? Now, the next one we have over here. Uh, the next, what does it say? As the novel progresses, as the novel progresses, the old man and the marlin are inseparably linked. Rewrite using progress as a noun. Progresses is the verb. Progress will be noun. Let us see what we can do about it as the novel progresses. So we can say, with the progress of the novel, the old man and the marlin are inseparably linked. Clear? Let us see what the poetry section says. Any grammar for you? No way, you're lucky. No grammar questions over here. Uh, one more thing over here you have. Complete the following sentence with the help of the given sentence. Sentence is given and here you have to complete using this. The biggest challenge knocking on the door of humankind is fear and intolerance. No other challenge knocking at the doors of humankind are as big as fear and intolerance. No other challenge knocking on the doors of humankind are as big as fear and intolerance. You just change the degree. Next, fear and tolerance are bigger than any other challenge. Fear and intolerance are bigger than any other challenge knocking on the doors of human kind. Done? Okay. Uh, here, the poetry section, it's, it does ask you something. Find out an example of metaphor from the poem. Metaphor is an implied simile. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way, into the dreary deserts uh, sand of dead habit where the m mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake into the dreary desert sand of dead habit this is the metaphor over here next <clears throat> Knight of Scorpion, nothing. Let's go to the non-textual passage. Non-textual passage we have over here. <clears throat> uh, 
Frame a WH question for the following statements with the help of WH words given in the bracket. The other half was made up of laborers from the east. WH question what? What was the other half made up of? Clear? Why? You have to use why. The third kind of passengers were forced to come down thousands of kilometers for quality medical care. You have to use why. Why were the third kind of passengers forced to come down thousands of kilometers? That is all. Now you have the writing skills. Now boys and girls, writing skills, letter writing I have shown you. Formal and informal letter go in for informal. Do not go in for informal letter. Go in for formal letter. And everything is left hand alignment. Do not put a comma of uh, after two. Write a letter to the principal of your school requesting him or her to permit the students to read newspaper headlines during the school assembly daily. Lay stress on the need for students to read the newspaper. Simple. You have to write your address on the left hand side. Write the date. With Aurangabad, you are going to write the pin code number. Fine. This was done in great detail. Formal letters. The only thing is the topic changes. Now, over here, what will you write here? Two, no comma. The principal. Write down MP Saroj School. Aurangabad 431001. Then, subject. Okay. Subject you write. A request to allow the students to read newspaper headlines. Do that during assembly time. Then respect its uh, comma, left hand side. And begin. Uh, may I humbly request you to. Or may I humbly request you. This is the beginning. This I have given you many beginnings. Or you write. Sir, respect to sir. I am a student of class 10. I, I, have, I know how important it is for the students to read the newspapers. It is necessary that they should be well aware of the happenings in their city and in the world around. The competition is so tough that the students cannot remain ignorant and incompetent. In order that the students should develop a habit of reading newspapers, May I humbly request you to allow the students to read the newspaper headlines every day. I hope you will agree and give permission to the students to do the same. Thanking you, comma, yours, Y-O-U-R-S, sincerely, comma, X, Y, Z. Is that clear? This you are going to do. Verbal to non-verbal information. Yeah. The, uh, verbal to non-verbal information transfer. You have to read the passage and complete the table. Or non-verbal to verbal. Read this and write a paragraph. Speech writing I have shown you. Go in for speech writing. Do not go in for view and counter view. Then... Creative writing expand the following as you sow, so shall you reap. Either report, prepare a news report based on the following child laborers rescued from firework. Okay, go in for this. Developing a story or narrating an experience. I have dealt with you, you narrate an experience. The day when everything went wrong, you can write. Develop a story in 80 to 100 words with the following points. Points are given. Narrator experience or this, either of the two. So children, all the best for your exams. Do well. I expect very good results. I trust you. And I am sure you are going to make us all very proud by very good results. Stay home, stay safe and study more. Put in more time in studies. You are not going to sleep for hours together. So bye-bye and all the best.